friends so in the last session we have seen uh, the basic uh, precedence constraints uh, with the help of this uh, simple uh, SIS package that we had created uh, and we have seen what a success uh, fail and a completed precedence constraints mean uh, for now so for now the in this demonstration we will be seeing the advanced uh, types of precedence constraints and, and their combinations that we can uh, actually come up with so for that let me uh, we will slightly edit this package uh, I mean add few more tasks to it and uh, then we will see each of uh, the ways we by which we can actually configure our precedence constraints for that I'll just add another variable to this uh, package uh, let me call it V and initialize that its value to say 1 so we have declared an a variable uh, next uh, we'll just put two SQL tasks let's call this task 1 <coughs> okay task 2 so let's use the existing connection and let's just add a simple query again the count query itself let's just just configure this okay and for this also we'll just right so we have configured two tasks so next is let's say on completion of this task I need to perform my data flow task so now here the scenario is if we right click the precedence constraint and say edit for this task we will uh, be seeing the constraints success uh, and um, and the constraint so basically uh, let's just use this task too and take a look what all we have here we have constraints and expressions so let's say we want uh, uh, this task to be executed only when I mean uh, uh, the preceding task to be executed only uh, when the precedent when the constraints and expressions both the values are satisfied I mean uh, the current task should be successful first the value should be success for the constraint and the expression of say our variable we'll type it like this the expression equals to one only then our preceding tasks should execute let me repeat again what I'm, I'm trying to say is the preceding task to this task the current task should execute only if our evaluation operator defines that only if the expression of the variable uh, v that we had declared its value is 1 and the value for this current task should be success as simple so this defines its and or or in in case of or even if your uh, package fail i mean this current tasks fail fails and your uh, expression is evaluating to the value as uh, we have mentioned here in that case it will it will be a success and it will move on to the next task it will execute so let's just call that and if the moment you uh, use an expression in your uh, precedence constraint editor transformation editor you will see uh, an fx and, and with the expression value if you hover a mouse on the fx which means function uh, it will give you the uh, actual constraint I mean expression that you have embedded into this uh, precedence transformation editor next uh, let's take task 1 and edit that as well here I just wanted to demonstrate uh, the logical and and logical or operator constraints if a logical and operator actually says that if you have two tasks in this case we have task 1 and tasks 2 uh, after which your data flow task executes correct so that's fine now what my logical operator says if there are multiple tasks it says that on evaluation of all the 
current tasks logical and says on the evaluation of all the current tasks being successful only then your preceding task will execute what i mean by that is if you if you use an logical or operator you will see the uh, preceding i mean the line being dashed if you just see this this line is 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 dashed one which means that in any case in data flow task will execute e respect i mean a, a data flow task will execute if either of this task 1 or task 2 is is successful because we have defined or operator which means logically if either of this task executes successfully your data flow task will execute and if you simply say in the logical operator an and it means that both of the task task 1 and task 2 should execute successfully for your data flow task to execute uh, unless and until uh, both the task are successful uh, your data flow task will not execute as simple so let's just edit it and put it for or and we'll we'll take a look so now what my uh, what my package is is my data flow task will execute if my task 1 or task 2 either of them are successful right so let's just uh use the and first and test it i mean in that case both the tasks should be successful for task 1 to be successful uh, the query must execute and for tasks 2 it should be the expression and constraints both the value should be satisfied i mean the task should be successful and the value for the expression should be 1 right so let's just run it correct so it has been successful and it has completed fine with us now next what we do is we just uh, change the variables value first thing we change it to 10 and let's then see so task 2 will not execute that's correct so basically the data flow task will not execute because the reason is as simple because the value for the expression was not satisfied so and since the value for expression was not satisfied a logical and operator did not meet the criteria now if we simply say or it will execute if we say or it will execute with the same with the same conditions because it is it will not depend it will depend uh, it will not depend on tasks two's uh, precedence constraints so if you take a look see it is executing the reason is as simple uh, task two precedence constraint do not allow data flow task to be executed although there is an or operator which says that if in case uh, task 1 is successful it will go ahead and execute so that was your or operator now next what we do is fill this task let's just change the schema incorrect type uh, incorrect schema name so we have typed out an incorrect schema so basically this will fail and let's just say expression or constraints either and say and so now task 2 will fail and your further flow will not happen correct that's how it is now if we say or your task 2 will will fail but still your data flow task will be executed because we have said or so basically as you can see here it's very clear that uh, the or logical or operator allows you uh, uh, to f to proceed with the further tasks in the control flow uh, depending upon either of uh, the task i mean actual task being successful if uh, task 1 was successful here the data flow task uh, was able to execute because of the criteria of logical or so the multiple constraints value or operator defines either of the task to be successful and here you have the able capability of defining expression constraints constraints value would be successful it will be success failure or completion and your expression value will be as you configure as you want to configure based upon the package uh, variables and all 
so that uh, these are the basically uh, basically the combinations that you can actually use and uh, come up with uh, the advanced precedence constraints if you will so that was uh, the uh, precedence constraints I and mean various combinations of precedence constraints in completion for you and with with which with which you can come up with uh, the various uh, kinds of combinations and uh, um, in, in desired in SSS package basically uh, the most that you see uh, and very very new you need you need a logical and or or operators is something like before uh, executing a data flow task you need to check if the FTP connection uh, exists and uh, also your file is is, is uh, placed in the path so you you have a system directory task or, or, or a FTP task or or uh, you need to check some table if it exists so basically there are three or four multiple checks based upon which uh, and all of them being true you proceed to do the la uh, to uh, do the next uh, next task so basically the multiple uh, tasks of which uh, I mean on on whose uh, successful completion you want to uh, flow and uh, the OR operator would be one of the sp places where, where you just need to uh, uh, find out if either of uh, the tasks, uh, I mean either of the task is successful, either of the cases being true, just need to proceed with the first, uh, I mean the next uh, task. So that was uh, precedence constraints for you friends, uh, hope it's really helpful for you. Thank you so much.